what's up guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be making a 1.17 gas farm this works in java edition and bedrock edition and this will give you a ton of gas tears and gunpowder let's go straight on into it so for this farm all you need is one redstone torch one redstone repeater one redstone comparator eight levers six glowstone about a stack of netherrack about three stacks of rails ten powered rails two chests one micro with hopper, two hoppers, 16 river roses, 36 glass, about 40 stacks of solid blocks that would burn, so nothing like slime, honey, glass, ice, gravel or sand, and about 5 stacks of uh, solid slabs that would burn. Once you've got all the materials, come to a salt sand valley. A salt and sand valley should look something like this. Then, come to the lava lake next to it. Once you're there, bridge out with your blocks until you get to the bit about the middle of the lava lake. Once you've done that, check to see that you're still in a salt and valley biome. You'll be able to tell this as there'll be just like black dust floating all around you. Next, build up one block. Then build out three blocks this way. One, two, three. Then build out three blocks this way. One, three. Now fill in this little platform grid. Once you've done that, come to this spot here. Place your double chest. They come behind it, crouch down. There's two hoppers going into the chest. We are to tell that these hops are going into the chest. This nozzle and this red thing indicates that it's going into the chest. After that, build this shape here. Two. Here. And here. Once you've done that, break this middle block. You can get a redstone torch, place it here. Yep, then I get a redstone repeater, place it here. These two blocks should light up and should be facing towards the door. Then get your redstone powder, come here, place it there. These two blocks are facing this way. Then next, crouch down and place two powered rails like this. This will be our redstone unloader for this farm. How it works is the minecart will come over here. The redstone detector will detect it has things in it, so that it will stop. The hoppers will unload it. Then the redstone detector will detect when it's been unloaded. And once it's been unloaded, it will go back to get more. Now, crouch down. This block here and block here. Now, build 30 blocks forwards. Once you have built 13 blocks this way, then come this way, place 13 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Once you built 13 blocks this way, then build 13 blocks this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Once you build 13 blocks this way, then connect it to that side there. Now, fill in this platform you made. Once you've done that, you should have a 14 by 14 platform that looks something like, like this. Then, next step is to place 7 wheels like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then, get a powered rail, place it here, place rails here, around here, and here. Then, another powered rail here, in line with this one. Then, all the way around again. and until we get in line with this powered rail. As you can see, we're creating a pattern. We have one with a powered rail, we miss one, and another one with a powered rail. So what you can do is skip this block, powered rail here, skip this block, powered rail here, skip, skip this block, powered rail here, skip this block, powered rail here. Now, connect all this with a rail. Once you have done that, you should have something like this. We have seven powered rails here, being connected by all these rails here. Just double check that all the rails are going the right way and they haven't like connected to these and changed up the direction. Make sure they're all going around like this. Once you've done that, come to this far corner here, break this one here, place it with a pad rail, then there, place two blocks, place a lever here, flick it down, and that should have powered this rail here. After that, come back to hit this spot here, then bridge out eight blocks one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After that, after that, you should be directly in line with these pad rails here. Now, go down all the way till you get to the other side. Now, now you're at the other side. Come back to the start. Now get, now get your levers. Place one here. Click it. Then skip a block. Then place one here. Click it. S skip a block. Place one here. Click it. Skip this block, put a lever here, lick it, 
good. Each each level should have one block in between them. So skip this block here. Place level here. Click it. Then skip this block. Place level here. Click it. Now skip this block. Place level here. Click it. Now what we'll be able to see is all these power rails here have now become powered. Once you've done that, break the temporary bridge you made. Next, cover every single block with rail except for these two with, with blocks. Once you've done that, you should have a little platform that looks something like this. Then, come back down here to the bottom, place the minecart roof up here. Now it should start automatically going all around without you having to do anything. Then, come up here. Now skip a block here and place glass like this. And skip this block here. Then come up, add two more blocks here and fill in this wall here. Now, get, get your solid blocks, build up two here. Two here, two here, two here, and keep going. You have something that looks a bit like this. Once you've done that, please five blocks here. One, two, three, four, five. Now, build another five here. Then extend this wall all around these other three sides. Once you've done that, your farm should be looking something like this. Then, come down here to this corner. Now count one block diagonal here, put it this block. Place never rack, skip two blocks, this one here, another bit never rack, skip two blocks, another one there, skip another two, wait, another one there, then come down here, wait this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here, then come down again, this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here, and finally come here, this one here. And this one here. You should have something that looks a bit like this, with 16 never rack placed on there. Then come to each corner, break it, replace with glowstone. Then come to these center four blocks here and replace that with glowstone as well. Your farm should now be looking something like this. Once you've done that, then fill in this roof here. With solid blocks. Once you've done that, then cover this roof with slabs. All of these slabs will prevent mobs from spawning on the roof. Once you place all the slabs on the top, then temporarily break a hole inside of here. Go inside it. Then place whip rows on top of every single block of never. This is, these river roses will kill the gas, and this minecart that's going underneath our feet will collect all of the drops. Now, you can now you can leave there. Now, just fit in the hole. Now, come to this back corner of the platform you built earlier. I built out 21 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Once you build out 21 blocks, place a block here. 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 Now, build it up by 3 blocks. Place one block here now. Place slabs on top of all of these blocks. This here will be our AFK spot. So, if we want to get to the spot spawning, we'll stand here. And there we go, it's, it's even started now. We'll watch them spawn there and get killed. If, if you want to AFK this, then this is where we we'll stand. And then this will keep running while you're AFKing. And the next step is to cover every single block except for these two here on the bridge with slabs. Then cover all these blocks here with slabs. At these two blocks with slabs. Come over here. There's a slab there. Then this bridge here, we'll cover all this with slabs too. Then come back. Come back to your farm. Now we're going to want to cover every single block within the 50 block radius of this farm with slabs. This over here is within 50 blocks, so I'll cover all of this with slabs. The amount of slabs will vary depending on how much land is near your farm. So, in case you don't have enough, you may want to get a few more slabs just so you can cover every block, as this will use up quite a lot of slabs. 
all these slabs will stop mobs from spawning nearby the farm, so it will make the farm a lot more efficient. If you want to find out how far 50 boxes, then come into your settings, then press game, then go down to world options, then press show coordinates. Then come come back to one edge of your farm. Now see which one moves. For me, it was the Z coordinate, which is the one on the far right. This is 40 here. Since this is within 50 box of 40, uh, I have to cover all this with slabs. And I wrote, and until it gets to minus 10, so here, I have to cover this and all this area here with slabs. As that, this is within 50 blocks of our farm. A few minutes later. When you finally finish covering every block within 50 blocks of your farm with slabs, then come to this AFK spot we built. Now just stand here and wait. Eventually, gas will start spawning there. And there we go, the gas has spawned. Now, we're gonna watch it get killed. If this farm doesn't seem to work for you, then what you could try doing is setting your world simulation distance to 4 chunks. You can do that in your game settings. If that doesn't work, then set your game to peaceful, leave the game, join back into the game, set it to hard, and then leave the game, then join back, and then it, your game should now be in hard mode, which increases mob spawn rates. If that still doesn't work, then try, try covering every block within 150 block radius of your farm with slabs. That still doesn't work, then make sure you've built the farm correctly and you've actually done it in, in a salt and biome. Because if you haven't, then it won't work. Now, I'm going to AFK here for maybe uh, 20 minutes or so. I'm going to see how much stuff I get. Let's see. Why well, I'll let this last gas get killed. As you can see, it's, get, it's, it's getting killed by all these river roses here. Now it's died. This will pick up all the loot. Eventually, we'll see it disappear. There you go. The hopper's now picked it up. Now, now we'll be in the hopper. Now it's about. Now it's going to come here. Right now, let's see how much loot we got from this. Oh wow, that's actually. That's actually quite good to be honest. You got there's quite a lot of gas tears, and there's not obviously much gunpowder. This this farm isn't meant for gunpowder. This farm is meant for gas tears, as gas tears are quite hard to get. So a lot of the time, you kill a gas, they won't drop them, or if you do kill one, they, you often kill them, and then they just drop into lava and you lose it. And gas tears are super helpful because they can be used for things such as potions, or they can be used for end crystals, which if you get enough of, you can respawn the ender dragon. But anyway, that's enough for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm going to make another farm later this week. So make sure you subscribe for that. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Alright, bye.